So for this episode, we came over to beautiful St. Augustine Beach. Very historic, super cool town. And guess what they have all over the beach right now? Beautiful, big, silver king tarpon. They are here, and man, they are fun to catch. St. Augustine is a super cool town, the oldest city in the state of Florida. Mixed with the fishing, it is such a great destination to go with friends, family, whoever involved. It is a neat place to land and see what kind of fun you can get into. We pulled into town the night before, me and Ryan, and we kind of went and had a little dinner at the Conk House. Kind of went over a little bit of a game plan of what we was hoping to expect based on some of the things we were hearing about the tarpon fishing. Man, Ryan, I appreciate you coming over and playing for the day. Um, I know we're always chasing redfish up and down the coast, especially you up and down way over, covering all the coast. Oh, yeah. You're always on the road chasing the redfish, so it's, it's kind of uh, gonna be kind of cool to, I can't believe I'm saying this, but not think about a redfish for a day. I agree, man. Just doing something different like this, again, with you know people you like to be around, just buddies of us, just coming to do something different. You don't get a lot of opportunity to do it. It's gonna be a blast. I mean, I love chasing tarpon. I just don't get to do it much. Same here. And we're in an area where we neither one of us do it. So it's gonna be a fun challenge, but it's also gonna be a really fun day together. I agree, yeah. We're gonna cut the fool and have a good old time for sure. I, I can't, I, I don't remember when I was in St. Augustine last. I'm gonna say it was, I'm gonna say it was over 15 years or 15 years, but other than that too, I don't remember the last time I actually caught a tarpon. I bet it was five years ago. Really? As far as myself, for sure. I have had a couple clients catch them, but me personally, again, I, man, I stick to what works and to what folks can leave happy with, and that's usually a redfish, so. Over here is such a different thing. I'm pretty excited to go out and just put our knowledge and skill on what we think that we can do and that's just right. see how good we can figure it out. You know? Here's the deal. We don't have beaches where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's we, true. We don't need, so it's going to be a complete culture shock for me right. to catch a tarpon on a beach because it's just not something I've done. You know? Yeah, I'm excited about yeah, it. Yeah, me too, man. I appreciate you stopping life and coming over and playing with us for the day, man. I'm excited to see how big a one we can tame. So I'm excited to get today the chance to fish with Ryan. Uh, me and him's been competitors against each other in the redfish trails over the years, and uh, we have a mutual friend in Michael Anderson. It is gonna be a super cool day to just go and do something we're not used to, something we don't do on a normal basis on a coast that we don't live on in an area and a style that we've never fished before. So I'm real excited to spend a day on the boat with Ryan. You know, I'm uh, just be straight up. I'm not really sure why Danny picked me to fish with him. However, I was really you know, thrilled that he did pick me to fish with him. I know we fished against each other comp competitively over the last few years. And uh, we both have a very similar mindset and a very good personality to gel with each other. So I knew it'd be a good time and I appreciated the opportunity. Well, Ryan, we got the boat in the water. We got the travel out of the way. We got all the discussions and all the plans. Everything is done and we are here. Everything's done except for putting them in the air now. That's we right. We gotta put them in the air. We gotta put, right. get a hook in them and put them in the air. It's like, it's like making that drive to the basket. You gotta, make, you gotta get the finish. You can't just have the move. You gotta have the finish. You know? that's so that's, it, man. That's I'm that's stoked where... about it. I can't wait. I mean, I, again, you hear about it. You, you want to come do it. We're getting ready to go do it. And I'm stoked to do it with the dude that I like to fish with. So. Yeah, I'm same here, man. I'm, I'm excited to just go, go take all the other stuff that we normally do throw it out the window and go learn something new to us, and that's what it's all about. Yeah, we got a beautiful day to do it, and I'm, I'm excited to be here. Me too, buddy. Let's go get it done. Yes, sir. We're starting the day off, we eased out of the inlet and we decided to go south all the way down towards the pier. We had a flood tide starting the day out, so our minds theoretically was thinking these fish have to be migrating up the beach along with the flow and bouncing in and out of those pokey pods. And sure as it was true, right as we went down to the pier and started working, everything was headed north. All right, buddy, we are here. And it is live action. There is bait all over this beach. We're starting to see tarpon roll already. We've caught our bait. 
All the homework's done. Yeah, my anticipation level went from like here to like here. That's what I just, <laughs> what I'm looking at right now, man. All the way over here last night talking everything, we was always like, you know, hey, I hope it's like we're here. And, uh, yeah. And so far, it's like we've it's been exactly here. It's exactly what they said it would be so far. Yes, so sir. let's put some in the air. I'm ready. Man. I'm ready too. Let's get it. Yep, yep. There he is. There he is. Fish on! Big fish. Biggin'. Biggin'. Attaboy, Danny. Attaboy, Danny. <laughs> Woo, son! That's, that's a big. big fish, Bubba. Me and him, that's him. That's him. Come on, girl. That's a good one, buddy. Brian, when you wake up in the morning and you go tarpon fishing, yeah. you hope that what you're gonna see when you get there is bait showering. Yes, sir. Big fish rolling. And one thing you really always hope to see when you're tarpon fishing is a band of big tarpon come in all at once. Yes, sir. No doubt. And that's exactly what we just got yes, delivered. Yes, we did, we dude. We just got delivered, my friend. <laughs> yeah, we did. And this is not a small fry no, here. This is a big one. We're going to be on this one for a minute, I believe. We've had them rolling around us. They were in the pogey schools, and then they moved off the pogey schools, and we had some individuals, and our thought process was like, hey, man, maybe we can get one of these individuals off the school. And sure enough, right there it was. Yep, yep. And how about we sit right there in anchor mode with the move on, super Tread, quiet, treading water, <laughs> and getting smoked 25 feet or 30 feet off the back yes, of the boat. Yes, sir. I love it. I'm gonna try to get my hands on him when he gets up here without a gloves. It might be a little bit interesting. And he's doing a lot of heavy down low pulling, so maybe he'll be nice and wore out when we get yeah, to him. Yeah, hopefully. So one thing I'll say, which I know you'll know this, but a lot of people won't know this. So when those tarpon come up and they do that little gulp, that actually gives them a wee bit more energy. Yeah. When they come up like that, just get ready for another burst. It's That's probably right. gonna burst you here in a second. <laughs> That's right. That probably means I'm not pressuring him enough, but <laughs> but first fish of the morning. First fish of the morning. And he seems to be roughly about as big as me. Yes, sir, he does. So uh, I'm just trying to hold my own until we can get a little time in and, and hopefully touch her. I'd like to give her a little high five if we're that fortunate. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Here we go. Coming up, coming up. Oh, I thought he was fixing sky right there. too. He's, that's a good sign. That means I'm doing my job. Yes, it does. That means my job is being done. You know what's really cool too, bro? Neither one of us live here. Oh, no, that. We just came over here and wanted to come fish. That's right. Come catch some tarpon on the beach. That's right. Yep, that's looked right. around, found some stuff that looked fishy, fished it, and here we go. That's Hooked right. Up. That's right. I don't know, about a week ago, I'm like, hey, Ryan, <laughs> hey, what you doing next week? Uh, You're like, you know, hey, I mean, um, just with a little work and stuff, what are you thinking? How about me and you go over to St. Augustine and get on the beach? We ain't never been there, and let's see if we can jump a tarpon. No kidding, man. <laughs> I mean, I've fished the East Coast, but I've never fished on the beach like this for tarpon. Yeah. First time for me. This is my first time technically fishing out of St. Augustine. As I was telling you before, I, I've done some redfish homework, Palm Valley area, which is north of here a little bit, but I have uh, I have not fished out of St. Augustine one day of my life, and I haven't been here in 15 years, if wow. not more. Wow. You gotta love a bull baby rod. Yes, That's all do, I buddy. can think right this second. That and how much my elbow's starting to get tired. <laughs> there we Coming go. Up, there there we go. we go. Come on, girl. That's a good fish, man. It's a fine one. I might even want to add 20 pounds to our guesstimation. Yeah, man. It's either that or it's my elbow's just saying, I think it's 150. Wow. Man, you got max pressure right there. I'm telling I got it locked still down. Still pulling. That's what I'm telling you. I think she's bigger than we think. Dude, I'm getting arm cramps watching. Dude, I'm telling you, this Much thing less here. having the rod. This jugger's brutal. All I can think right now is I'm glad it's not midday. Ooh. There's a rollover right there, my friend. That was a 
That was my first big win right there. Yeah, that sure was, for sure. It absolutely turned the whole fish. There she is. That's a good one, brother. Dude, that's a bigger, yeah, he's, she's bigger than we were thinking. That's the problem. That's half the problem. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Good job. Good job. She knows where that trolling is, don't she? Yeah. Damn. It's either, either I'm getting tired or more tired, or she just looking bigger and bigger as we go. Don't do that to me. It might be a little bit of both. I mean, at least she's not making them hard deep runs right now. I mean, no, she did be, all that earlier. Should be. She did all that 30 minutes ago. I'm gonna say that's 140, 150. Now Come on, man, look, think higher. Yeah, right there. Nope. <laughs> I know you want it to be right oh, there. I guarantee it. Uh, she just thinks she don't want to get quite. that head up. It's not quite, yeah. It's closer. That freaking leader is. You see the leader? I did not. It's oh, up. It's, look at it. It's, it's, it's rubbed raw all kind of fancy ways. She just She did. That's a hard headed head tarpon. Head that is one of the hard headed tarpon I've ever caught in my life right there. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Right there. Oh, there went the hook in my hand. Dang, that one might be deep. Damn. That one might be deep. Yeah, that's deep. Have you looked at it yet? Nope. Thank goodness it wasn't that deep. Well, good job, dude. Frick, a great <laughs> freaking fish. We at least got to see him jump. See her jump. We got her right we got by hands the boat. On her a few times. Yeah, we didn't get that little quick Kodak moment, but that is all right. So me and Ryan, a lot of times, especially Ryan, he lays a lot on, on artificial with fishing the tournaments and chasing the trails up and down the coast. So we really wanted to make it very easy, laid back day, and we just chose bait for the presentation for this show. It's just a lot easier and relaxing to just sit there and hold that pogey and let him do his job and versus trying to figure out exactly what bait's gonna work for today. Oh yeah, somebody got me on that. Pick him, fish on. That's him, fish That's on. Him. Holy moly, holy moly. <laughs> One thing's for sure, being labeled the Silver King don't come on accident. Getting a hook in one is just the beginning of the battle. Getting through his ferocious jumps and keeping the hook attached is always the hardest part. Up top, look at that, it's That's pretty, pretty, right it's right pretty gets right there. That man. is hard to beat, that right, is I'm hard off. to beat. Come on girl, let's have a small conversation and you can be on your way. Come on, girl. Give up. Spit it. Broke it. Broke it? Too much pressure. Well, that's what happens on that 40-pound leader, you know? Yeah. So a yeah. lot of times you're going to get a lot more hookups right there. Good job, yeah, That's exactly what happened yeah, right there. Yeah, just the broke hook. that hook. Just it can only more. give so much, you know? You know, it's, it's a battle you, you take with the bigger tarp, and you don't want to... You don't want to beat them up. You want to have fun. You want to enjoy them. But at the same time, you don't want to, you don't want to kill them. You, right. you don't want to wear them out to where they no can't doubt. get away from a shark. And uh, I'd rather get the fun and not get the touch than, uh, than, hurt, than getting I killed. I would too. We yeah. had some good jumps out of it too. Yeah. Good job, brother. Oh, right there. Fish on. Right on, right on. That's one, that's, that's tarpon. Ryan, let's look at this fish here as like a kicker fish. You got the kicker fish, daddy. Let's do I it. I do have the kicker fish. <laughs> it's hard to see that green, dark green, my dark green line, dude. How's your line? Is it all good? I'm good. Okay. You want me on the big motor or you no. want to do this? Uh, you might want to get on the big motor. Oh boy. That's what I'm talking about. He's way up high, just saw him flash right up under a couple feet there. What? Yep. Coming big, you're getting flooded. 
<laughs> yeah. Hey. Ready. Ooh, son. That's what I'm talking about. Nice work, Ryan. Nice work. Yes, Ryan's sir. doing a good job at what a lot of folks call the down and dirty. And what that means is, is the tarpon is holding himself to the left and rolling to the left. Ryan's bringing the rod to the right. And what that does is just puts, it simply puts the tarpon in an uncomfortable situation. And, uh, and it's, it's, it's helping us wear him down a little Ooh. bit easier. Just lost Dang. it, fellas. Just broke it right there. He just spit. Just spit it. Spit it. Hey, that's how it is. That's, <laughs> that's why he's called a king. Well, you do, you know. Hey, that was pretty cool, though. I feel like I threw right in the mouth of that thing, you know? Yeah, it was. thought process is you got this monster massive school of pogies okay all right and there's a whole lot going on in there what if the tarpon are just swimming around the edge of it and darting in and grabbing and coming back out we started seeing a lot of movement out here in, in deeper cleaner water a little undisturbed if you will but what we're learning with two misses with oh and two since we've been into this program here coming outside of the pogies is that you got fishing and then you got tarpon fishing just because you get the bite don't mean you're going to get the hook set. We're learning that real quick. There he I think is. that's going to be him. Get ready. Yes, sir. I got you. I'm already in. Yes, sir. Just a good old boy. <laughs> Dude, how fun is this? Like, this never gets old, bro. Well, first off, fishing with one of your buddies is always a great time. I agree. But anytime you can go fishing with one of your buddies and jump Silver Kings left and right all day long, that never gets old. It's a good old. time, brother. Let the good times roll. He looks to be about 70, maybe he, 80. Nah, he might be a little, I was gonna say maybe 80 to 90. Uh, 70, 80. Maybe 70, 80, yeah, now that I get a good look on him good one to end end our day with that would be a good one to end the day with because my elbow says we are we are needing to end the day i'm not gonna get, good job good job of bowing i'm hoping this one's a little smaller and we can contain it he's figured out it's a little depth there he's gonna get on the bottom with it. oh All right, just a gulp that was a good sign there he says oh boy he says, I got a bull bay connected to me. This can't be good. Mm, good hard head shake right yeah, there. He's rising back up. Coming back up. Up top. Big gulp. Big, big gulp. old gulp of air right there. Yeah, that's probably a 60 to 70 pounder, bro. Yep. The fun size, Heck eh? Yeah, that's a real fun size. You know, since this is your like sixth or seventh one today that you're letting this little 60 to 70 pounder whoop you since you've had all those 130s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm hearing a little heavier breathing now than I did uh, earlier. I'm sure glad the bigger brothers I've been hooking all day long finally <laughs> sent one of the little brothers no over there. Kidding, help no kidding. Help me out. No kidding. She ain't quite ready. The hook isn't in the lip where I you know, gotta grab I can it. Grab it. I At know least it. it's on the outside where- It looked like it was hooked in there pretty good too. Yeah, it's in that hinge, that bone, and hopefully, I mean, clearly it's, pretty good because it's been in there a long time but it ain't amazing I have seen better okay that looks good right there that looks good uh oh death grip now oh lord oh there you go now <laughs> Woo! one more time Ooh, that my friend is a day maker right there it's freaking awesome that's a good 70 probably 70 to 80 pound fish fun Yep. Great jumps, great pools. Okay. We have had a fantastic day here in St. Augustine, fishing the tarpon in the pods on the beach. 
is a lot of fun. If you haven't ever been to St. Augustine, this is a good place to do it at. I can tell you the water's pretty, this town's historic, and the dang tarpon fishing is good too. Woo! <laughs> good job, dude. Way to end the day right there. Ah. Tarpon fishing is exactly what it is. It's fishing. There's lots of heartaches, lots of line breaks, lots of hook slungs. But one thing's for sure, when you finally get that one to the boat and you get to hold him by the mouth and get that photo, it all becomes worth it. One thing's for sure on the boat today, we were no short of fun. We had a ton of fun, me and Ryan did, cutting the full, hooking fish, knocking fish off, breaking fish off, hooks coming loose. Ryan, his hand was pretty hot but his hooks were not, I mean, that's for sure. There he is, come on, there he is. That's what's up. Oh, oh. he just popped me. That's there he is, there he is, that's the one. He just spit it, ah. damn it. Oh, there man. he is. That's right, that's right. Well, dude, I mean, can anyone tell me how the hell that's possible, bro? Look and see if you're cut off, you might be a shark. No, I can feel the bait still. How did you do that, Ryan? <laughs> yeah, you might want to step forward there, slick. <laughs> The frick, man. I was just squirting a little fuel on the flame. You know, he had a little flame going there. There he is. Got him? Ah, I don't think so. Something happened. How, dude, tell me how that can happen. <laughs> now you feel my day. <laughs> now you feel my day. That is weird. I mean, I don't know what could be doing that. We had such a good time on the boat cutting the full and diagnosing what the tarpon were doing to become tarpon. Very difficult. But we, we put our heads together and it really worked out very well. Be sure to come over to the YouTube channel and check out the CETO After Show with Ryan Rickert, what did and didn't happen in St. Augustine. <laughs>